Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to my kitchen. I'm coming to you today because I'm making uh, something really nice for a coffee time or have my girls coming over today for coffee. So we're gonna have English style scones with apricot and ginger. So that's what we're gonna make, apricot ginger scones. So I'll have all the ingredients here. They're gonna be under the description box, the amounts and everything. So you can just get that from there. That's the flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, nutmeg, and cold butter that I chopped little fine cubes. That goes in here. Okay, that goes in there. There's two more little cubes, okay. And I have my fork here, and I'm gonna put all the butter, mix all the butter with my fork to get it into fine, fine little crumbs, almost like cornmeal. That's what the butter is supposed to look like. You can do this with a pastry cutter. You can do it with your hands. I'm just doing it with the fork. There we go. It only takes a few minutes to get it. Very, very coarser cornmeal consistency. So there we go. So I'm gonna take my fork out and I'm gonna use my fingers to just squish all the butter together and that's how you make the little crumbs. And you want little butter to show in here because that's what's gonna make them nice and fluffy and um, really, really tasty. So there we go. So I got all my butter incorporated with my flour. So it doesn't take long to make scones. These are delicious with coffee, tea, breakfast, afternoon snack. Okay, so there we go. So now I have my apricots. That goes in here. This is dry apricots. I have my dry uh, crystallized ginger, and that goes in here. And next is the one egg and some buttermilk. And that's gonna be all mixed together. And that goes in here. And that's all the ingredients. There you go. So this is gonna, be full. You don't need to mix it too much because you don't want to over mix the flour, the, the dough. So there we go. So now, as soon as it gets like together, I'm just going to turn it over to my table here. You can do this in the mixer if you want, but make sure you don't mix the dough very much because your scones will come out really, really tough. You want them all nice and fluffy. So there we go. So, I'm gonna take this dough, this beautiful dough out, and I'm gonna put it right on my surface over here. I'm gonna get a little bit more flour. Just to Dust it on top so I won't get my hands all sticky, sticky. Okay, there we go. So I got my dough on the flour surface here and I made it to a round, round disc, maybe about half an inch thick and eight inch uh, round. So I'm gonna cut this in a half and I'm gonna cut it in a half again. Then I'm gonna cut it into quarters, and this is how you shape. You can cut them different shapes if you want, but the traditional scones are just like this, triangles. So I'm gonna put it in my parchment line baking dish here. There we go. And we have 
We have eight scones, beautiful, good size. Now I'm gonna brush them with a little bit of uh, crystallized sugar and I uh, will come back and show you what they look like. So my scones are shaped. I need a little brush. I'm gonna brush them with a little bit of milk just to make them nice and golden on top. Just like that. I have my oven preheated at 420, uh, 400, sorry. And they're gonna be baked for 15, 20 minutes. And that's it. We're gonna have fresh scones for, with our coffee this morning. So also on top of the milk, I'm gonna spring a little, this is raw sugar, crystallized sugar. It's gonna make them nice and brown. And we're gonna come back and show you what they look like when they're done. So there I am, 15 minutes later, I have some fresh baked scones. You can also make these, shape them and freeze them. And every time you want fresh scones, you can just pop them out of the oven, put them in the oven, <laughs> pop it out of the freezer and put it in the oven and you have fresh scones. They look beautiful, look at the bottom, nice and brown. Now these are good size scones, of course. When I make them for the tea, because I usually do the tea at the church, I make them smaller. But since this is a special occasion today, I'm gonna to have some time with my girls. So I'm gonna have, I made them nice and, nice and good size. So there they are. They look beautiful, nice and golden brown. Yum, 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 yum. Can't wait to taste them. Let's see. I think they're cool enough to taste. Nice and fluffy on the inside. Crispy on the outside. Mm, the ginger is so good. Smell the ginger, the nutmeg. Mm, delicious. I'm gonna leave you with lots of love. I'm gonna wait for the girls to come and I'm gonna finish my scone. And I'll talk to you soon. Make sure you subscribe, uh, share, and give us some thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.